ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक ए सिमुलेशन ऑन दी क्रिचिव करंट लॉ क्रिचिव करंट लॉ सिंपली स्टेट्स दैट द सम ऑफ ऑल द करंट्स एंटरिंग द नोड इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ द करंट्स दैट आर लीविंग दैट नोड so it's a very simple concept so for it we will make a small and simple circuit so let's start building the basic circuit for normal operation so first we will take our dc power supply this our dc power supply and after dc power supply we need 3 ammeters okay okay you can write your ammeters and you can take these ammeters you can take three of them for three okay for three branches and after it we need to take the resistors we will go for basic and then here you can see resistor so we will take 400 and 330 and one one must be like 680 so this is of 680 so now what we need to do is simply to connect the ammeter in series with the resistors why it is so because it is the basic principle that ammeter must be connected in series in order to measure the current now okay now this resistor with this and just rotate this resistor like this okay, like they connected like this and this now this point is a node now you can see properly that this point is called as the node okay okay now we need to connect them out like this and like this okay now we need to run it now before but before running you must know that is this is the positive side of the battery and this is the negative side of the battery so according to the convention the current flows from positive side of the battery towards the node then in this node current either will go some of the current will go straight while some come down why it is so because it depends upon resistance more is the resistance less will be the current flow in that branch so it will be distributed so we will see that either the current entering into that node is equal to the sum of the currents leaving the node so this is our main concept so let's start the simulation and it will take some seconds okay now we can see that we have entering current is 0.019 0.019 when we will add this 0.013 and this is 6.303 milliampere 6.303 so when this 6 is being added in this 3 so it is 9 and then 0.019 so hence our concept is proved uh, again i i am explaining that you need to add this 6.03 milliampere into the 0.013 ampere and you will get 0.019 ampere and this is our kirchhoff's current law that current entering the node is equal to the sum of the currents that are leaving the node so hopefully you got the concept if there is any sort of confusion you can comment and then i will respond you in some time so thanks for visiting our channel